Hi everyone and welcome back to Brown Beautiful. Today I'm going to do this muted gold smoky eye with this popping red lip. So if you want to see how I achieve this look then please stay tuned and keep watching. So I've already gone ahead and done my base as you can see. I've done my eyebrows and you know all the contouring and everything. I'm going to leave the highlighting to the very end. On the eyes I am not going to prime or anything because I'm going to use this a shadow stick by Rimmel. This is a scandalized one and this is the one in bulletproof beige and that's what I am going to put all over my lid. Just cover the whole eyelid but I'm not taking it up to the crease. I'm going to take this Urban Decay uh, Naked palette, this is the original palette, and I'm taking the colors Half Baked, and then I'm going to take the color Creep. Yeah, that should be it. Maybe I might take the color Buck over the transition area, but you know, I'm going to keep this as simple as possible because the whole focus of this look is on the lip. This is the Half Baked Goldy kind of, it's a very simple gold color. And I'm taking that all over my eyelid. So I might remind you a little bit of the Sonakshi Sinha look that I did earlier, but that was still a little bit more, I don't know, in your face than this one is going to be. This one's going to be quite muted. I am going to use the color Buck. That's the color right here. And I'm just taking it to build my transition shade. Concentrating that on the outer corner. I don't know if you can hear police sirens. I mean, I can hear them so clearly. And this is the one reason I don't do voiceovers because there's the sound of my heater and then there's police sirens and I don't know what not. It's so hard to edit it all out. So it's easier to do voiceovers than, you know, um, just chatty videos. That's what I meant to say in the beginning. Now I'm just going to take the color creep. As you can see, this is a very uh, easy look. We just want to define the eyes. I'm concentrating this color on the very outer corner. It does get lighter as it goes into the inner corner of the eyes. I'm taking that same brush that we used earlier for the transition shade and I'm just going to blend that black up. I'm going to intensify uh, that black liner with this um, LA Girl Matte Eyeliner. I've become such a big fan of LA Girl products recently. I got them, you know, like a week ago or something and I've been playing around with these eyeliners and then you know lip liners and I just absolutely love them the lip liners smell so good they remind me of my childhood for some reason I don't know why so if you wanted to check LA girl out then you should really do that because they also have good dupes I mean they are good dupes um, for MAC lip liners which cost a bomb compared to what the LA girl lip liners cost I'm just flicking this out a little bit I just cleaned up that flick so it has extended but not leaving my natural shape. I mean this is the natural shape of my eyelid so imagine if my upper lash line was to extend to my hairline. This is the direction it would take so that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to use a black gel liner to uh, line my upper water lines because I feel like they have a better lasting power and they don't transfer. I've always had trouble with other matte liners and you know I know there are times when I've had to do a redo a whole look uh, just because I had the transfer so this time I'm not taking a chance. And I'm going for my favorite the Swerve by Colourpop. We grew up 
putting kajal in her eyes so you know lining your upper waterline and your lower waterline is not really very intrusive i know some people hate doing it but i grew up using kajal so it's not really for me now i'm going to use the color sin uh just to highlight my brow bone and also my inner corners I'm going to tight line the uh, lower waterline as well using this pencil. I'm using the Sephora Long Lasting uh, Cold Pencil. This is the one in nude, I think. I haven't used the Naked palette for so long. I've forgotten how beautiful this palette is. So anyway, I'm taking the color now. What should I take? I'll take the color Dark Horse and I'm just going to uh, line my lower lash line. This is a completely optional step. Just put mascara on and you're actually done with this look, but I really like the look this gives. I know I mentioned it earlier, but I actually forgot to highlight my brow bone, so I'm going to do that using the same color sin which I used in the inner corners yes this is the voluminous butterfly sculpt mascara that I've been using to death now I'm going to go in with a blush what do I do? I'm going to use my blush. You know, I think so much about it. And then I just go in with the Milani Coralina because I just love that blush on me. So we'll now move in with the lips. Ah, no, I still have to highlight. So, <laughs> so I'm going to use the Hoishi uh, Cosmetics Glow Bar and I'm using the color Caribbean Glow. Oh my God, these highlighters. If you haven't got a highlighter and you're in the market to buy a new one, then please check these out. They're only available online, but they're such good highlighters and they're so bright. I just hope this camera picks it up. I need to line my lips now, so I'm going to use the MAC Burgundy Lip Pencil. That's the basic outline done, and now I'm using a lip brush to fill my lips in. I'm using two colors today. Both of them are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. One is the American Doll, and the other is Heather's, which is the first thing I'm going to do line my lips all over with heathers and then um you know fill them in with the american doll Before I put my false lashes on, I'm going to set everything in place with Slay All Day from Gerard Cosmetics. I recently, recently got this, so um, let's give this a go. I'm going to use lashes from my House of Lashes Lash Story, and I recently got it from Sephora because I had a $25 coupon code, so I was like, I just had to have it. I'm taking the style Boudoir, because it sounds sexy. So that is the finished look. I love these lashes. Um, you know, they're just like their name suggests. Boudoir are really sexy when you say it in French like that. I hope that you like this look. And if you do, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.